The next piece we'll be playing is by William Grant Still, one of the most prolific and influential African-American composers of the 20th century. He wrote over 200 pieces for varied ensembles, from symphonies for orchestra to solo piano repertoire. He was a pioneer of the fusion of jazz and blues styles with more classical music composing. However, when Still died at age 83 in 1978, he was little known outside specialized circles and faded into obscurity. His daughter, Judith Ann Still, was determined to change this and began a decades-long campaign to re-record her father's music and shed light on his legacy. In a 2019 blog post published by the Chicago Symphony Orchestra, Judith said her plight wasn't easy and that at times she almost gave up. The blog goes on. We've had so much trouble, said Still, speaking from her home near Flagstaff, Arizona. So one night I told God I was done. I didn't want to do this anymore. I'm not good at being persecuted. Then she fell asleep and had a prophetic dream in which her ancestors were dancing and partying in an enormous ballroom. When Judith glanced up, she was toe-to-toe with her paternal grandfather, who encouraged her to stick around for the big finish. As everyone in the room began giggling and laughing, she awoke like a shot, inspired to continue her crusade. The piece we'll be playing is Still's Lyric Quartet, and it has three movements, each of which is dedicated to one of his close friends. Each movement is supposed to exemplify one of their varied personalities. The sentimental one, the quiet one, and finally the jovial one. 